The following is a paid advertisement. The views expressed are the sole responsibility of the advertiser. I'm attorney Justin Carr. Coming up just ahead on you have Real Estate Dallas. Layman talks about mortgage interest rates. We talk about currency exchange and some awesome agents from Orlando, Tampa, Ocala, even Miami. What's going on in the real estate world? It's all just ahead. It's you have real estate. Managing your investment property is as easy as one, two, three. One, sign up at GoRent123.com. Two, let Greater Orlando Realty handle everything for you when it comes to managing your property, from qualifying tenants to collecting rent, processing maintenance requests, and everything in between. Three, sit back, relax, and count all that money you're making. Earning passive income on your property is as easy as one, two, three with Greater Orlando Realty. Visit GoRent123.com today. Welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, or even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of like hitting multiple open houses, all from your living room, with my attorney advice throughout the way. If you have any questions whatsoever during the program, the phone number is right here. I'll leave it up during the entire show. It is 407 205 0400. Great show lined up today. You will not want to miss a single second, but first, the opening statement. The opening statement is brought to you by my good buddy, Greg Mann. He is property manager extraordinaire, literally the best in the business. Greg, tell me how you do it. It's been a really weird time for landlords over the last couple of years. Tenants have been a little bit angry. I think if you're a landlord, you need a property manager. The best one I know is Greg Mann. He happens to be here with me today. Greg, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? So let's say I'm a landlord and I'm trying to make the decision. Do I want to handle this myself or hire someone like you who is a property manager who does it all? What goes into that decision? Why hire a property manager? Well, it's quite simple. It's your biggest, one of your biggest assets. And let me ask you a question. If you want heart surgery, do you employ a brain surgeon? Yeah, no. no. Absolutely. So employ a, a property manager. It's very difficult. It's complicated. It can be complex. You can be sued. You can leave yourself wide open for many, many things. We know, we know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. What do you do for me as my property manager? Well, I make sure your property's rented, maintained, kept clean and re-rented and make sure you get your money. And then monthly some things can come up, maybe maybe something goes wrong. You're right here to solve all those problems between you and the, uh, the tenant or between you and anything that happens. Yeah, we, we, we're the cushion. So problem at the house, tenant calls us, they don't call you. You're on vacation enjoying yourself, we fix whatever problem it is. How do your relationships with your vendors work and how does that help me as my property manager? We have a, every vendor is licensed and insured. Every vendor has a 30-day pay cycle, so I don't need money up front from you. Um, and they work very, very closely with us. We've used them for years. Yeah. If you are a landlord, you have rental properties, do yourself a favor. Call Greg Mann right now. Do not do this on your own. Weird economic times, no doubt. Mortgage rates up, down. Up again, Dallas Lehman's gonna check in with what is going on with these mortgage interest rates? Are they gonna continue to go up, stay the same, go down? I, I literally don't know. That's why Dallas is coming in. Also, weird investment times as well. If you have an IRA, 401k, you've seen it plummet over the last few months. Uh, Randolph Penn is gonna be here. He's the president of Currency Exchange Company. Talk about an interesting way of investing that you might not know. And then also LPT is in the house. Hey, what's up? <laughs> we have four amazing agents here to show you some uh, great properties that are on the, on the market right now. And what's really going on in this market? Is it, is it stabilizing? Is it still a seller's market? We're gonna answer all of those questions and we're gonna do so by asking real questions. Every Saturday here on the TV program, we ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. I don't know why we wouldn't start right now. Dallas Lehman is here. Dallas, how are you? Doing great, Justin. And for the first time, Randolph Henna is here. Randolph, very nice to meet you, sir. How are you? Good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Too. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. <laughs> Let me start with you. You own a mortgage company. You do a great job at that. What is going on with rates? What are we seeing out there? Where do we go from here? Well, you know, we touched on this a little bit, you know, last time we spoke. And what's interesting is there's a whole generation out there that thinks rates are about 2.875 or lower. Over the last, let's say, 8 to 10, 12 years, the rates have been low across the board. 
So now people who have been through this have to sort of be re-educated on where we stand today. So usually I don't bring it, but I want to talk about some information today about real facts. And the bottom line is, traditionally, Fannie Mae has reported we are in a historic time where 8% has always been the historic 30-year fix, right about 8% as long as Fannie and Freddie have been keeping those statistics. Where are we today? Well, it depends on the loan program. Are we talking FHA, are we talking VA, are we talking whatever we're talking about. So where are we today in that range? We're anywhere from, let's say, 5 and 8, 5.125, to maybe 6.5% depending on the program. The other thing we'd like to talk about when you talk about rates is, if you really want to know where rates were the highest, 1981, rates were at 16.63%. So, you know, is it time to panic? No. Is it time to be prudent? Absolutely. But I want to give a real life example of, you know, where rates are and what is happening. I bought my first home in 1991. The rate I got, I was a perfect Fannie Mae Freddie Mac profile. 750 middle credit score, young executive, tons of money in the bank. My profile was absolutely perfect. My great rate, as with everybody else around that time, 11.125%. Bought that down to 9% and said, you know what, this is great. So thinking back to 1991, that's a very high interest rate. What does that tell you? Even if rates continue right now with inflation to rise, and they are going to keep rising a little bit, but if they do, people were buying homes back then at that rate. People will continue to buy homes, not only because it's a great hedge against inflation to protect your money, to protect your equity, when you see 401ks plummeting, but then you have to talk about rent. You want to talk about rates? Let's talk about rent. Year over year today, 19% in our National Association of Realtors tells us that 19.3 on average is the rent being done in Central Florida right now and climbing. So if you're renting, your interest rate's 100%. I said that three years ago on the show. A 100% rate is what you're paying if you're renting. You don't want to do that. So Justin, where are we? We're going to continue to see rates maybe incrementally climb a little bit as we go, but then once inflation starts to level off, then you're going to see those those rates start to come down a little bit too. Obviously, this feels a little bit like the early to mid '80s Absolutely. when you used your 16, 18 percent example. It, and no crystal ball, I know, but I mean, it, are we living in a world where that's a possibility that a, a interest rate on a mortgage to buy a primary residential home could be 16 or 18 percent? After all my experience in lending. I never say no to anything, but let me give a, another historical example. I don't think we could come anywhere near that. You're going to try to get me again on the 5% we always <laughs> no, talk about, no, no, no. which I, we did before. I got you last but, week. But to be honest with you, I don't think so. I don't think we'll get anywhere near 16%. Good. We're in this administration for another two years, you know, the Biden administration. Things are going to continue to be the way they are, and rates are going to continue to climb a little bit. But we're never, well, you never say never, right? Yeah. But I don't believe we'll ever get near that 16%. Yeah, and then, you know, if you think about it, buying is cheaper than renting. Even if we're at 9%, buying is cheaper than renting. And if you live in Central Florida, we are number one. I read this uh, story yesterday. We're number one in rental increases year over year. So if, if the interest rates have you scared, or even the fact that the market has gone up so much has you scared from buying, I would not let that happen. What has me scared a little bit is the 401k, the IRA. We've seen it plummet. I think I'm down 28%. I mean, that's a pretty big number. We're talking about years off the retirement. There are other options out there for investing, and this one is one that I really, Randolph, don't know a whole lot about. That's why I wanted to have you here today. Tell me about what you guys do. Well, Currency Exchange International is a publicly traded uh, banking company. We're considered a money service business specializing in currency, the actual physical cash exchange, uh, as well as international payments and in foreign check clearing. Uh, our cl primary clients are our banks. We, we service financial institutions. Mm -hmm. Here in Central Florida, we do have our own consumer division with, uh, with a store at the Florida Mall mm -hmm. and the Millennium Mall and also at the Orlando Eye Icon Park, uh, where we do the physical currency exchange. Uh, being a banking company, I'm quite uh, used to seeing a lot of foreign investment mm -hmm. uh, here in Florida, especially since like in England, the pound is worth more than the dollar. It's an attractive buy, especially 
prices like in London are a quadruple what real estate here is. So it's it's an interesting uh, marketplace. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a consumer, how, how can I get involved with you? Is this just literally if I'm, I'm coming here and I do, need to exchange a euro for the American dollar? Is that what you do? That That's one of our divisions, uh -huh. yes. So we call that our consumer division. We sell right now, the euro is relatively cheap. The yeah. dollar has gone up in value. So uh, we would be selling euros for people going over to Italy, let's say, uh, or vice versa. The schools just got out over in Europe, and so a lot of the foreigners are coming here uh, for their summer vacation to see I, Orlando. I heard that the euro and the dollar are almost uh, neck and neck right now. Is that is that true? That is correct. It's oh, it's right. it's at a, a it's not an all time low, but mm. it's one of the lowest it's been, uh, and and it typically had been a, a dollar twenty, a dollar thirty per euro, and now it's almost like you said one to one. It's a little over one uh, to one, but it's, like, wait, it's we're winning or they're winning. It depends which way you're going. Oh, you know where <laughs> yeah, I'm going. So, so <laughs> if you're going overseas, you your your vacation just got 10 to 20 percent cheaper. I like this. If you're going over to Europe and so forth, uh, if you're coming here, your vacation got 10 to 20 percent more expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but most of these people had pre-booked dollar stuff uh, while the euro was stronger, because just last year the euro was up near a dollar 20. What is the right way to do that? I, I know you guys just went out of the country as well. What is the best way to exchange money if I'm going out of the country? Let's say Italy, let's use Italy for an example. Is it better to exchange my dollars here or, or wait till I get over there? It's uh, we we always recommend go prepared. You, yeah. Just like you wouldn't go over there without having a car reservation or a hotel reservation. You should have your money that way. When you get off the plane, you have the euros to get your pasta, yeah. your red wine. Uh, whereas flip side, if you don't do it, you usually end up captive at the airport, and yeah. the airport will just charge 15% themselves. And so it is better to get it in advance. That way, it's taken care of. And you guys will do that for me. Where do I go again? The Florida Mall, okay. the the uh, Millennium Mall, or the Icon. Park is here in Central Florida. We we own about 36 stores across the country, uh -huh. as well as we have a home delivery service, our online FX service, where you can order currency and have it delivered right to your house. And, and what all uh, currency exchange do you do? Like what, what other countries? We do 90 different currencies. 90 we, countries. We, we, we how are do the, you know how to get all that money? I don't know. How do you even keep all that cash there? It's crazy. How well, do, we have two main pro processing centers, one yeah. in Miami and one in Los Angeles, wow. uh, and we do hold a large inventory. We, we are a banking company, so we have a vault and we, we order, we'll take your dollars and ship the foreign currency to your house if you don't want to go to one of our stores and get it right on the spot. Right, unbelievable. If you have any questions about foreign, uh, foreign currency exchange, Randolph would be happy to answer them. The phone number is 407-205-0400. Dallas, uh, good job today as always. Always a pleasure. When Thanks we so. talk again in a couple weeks, do you, do you see any big change either way when it comes to mortgage interest rates? I've got to be honest, I don't, I don't think there's going to be a large bump. Okay. The Fed, I don't see them doing anything dramatic right now. If you see anything, you may see a little incremental change. Like I always say, it's a live breathing market. You may see an eighth of a point, mm -hmm. maybe as much as 3.75. But I don't see anything major until the next time we talk. Good deal. Fingers crossed. Great to see you as always. If always you have any pleasure. questions, you want to get pre-approved right now to buy that dream house, Dallas Landman will do that for you right away. 407-205-0400. Quick break. When we return, what is actually on the market right now? We're going to tour some houses together as you have real estate continues. Hi, my name is Dallas Lehman, president of UF Mortgage. Everyone knows rates are rising, but did you know Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac remind us historically 30-year fixed rates have averaged around 8%, meaning current rates remain low. One of the best hedges against inflation and protecting your money while retirement accounts plummet is home ownership with safer equity. Rent continues to skyrocket as Realtor.com reports an average of 19.3% increase year over year and climbing. In most cases, it is still cheaper to own. And finally, there are a number of excellent loan programs available so you don't lose another dollar or throw your hard earned money away on rent. Call me today and let's tailor a winning solution for you to own your home. Your under one roof team is always here for you.
Welcome back to the show. Very happy to introduce you to two new friends of mine, Lizette Rodriguez. Hello, Lizette. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm well. And all the way from Tampa, <laughs> Jenny Dimas is here. Hi, Jenny. Hello. How are you? Let's start with you, Jenny. What is going on over in Tampa? We talk about the, the Orlando and Central Florida market a lot. We, you know, we hit the East Coast. We don't go to the West Coast too much. What's going on in the market over there? Probably should. The West yeah. Coast is awesome. Is that yeah, right? On the water. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that's changing currently, and I mean, it's good things in the market. Um, there, we are finding that there are more properties coming up, so it's a good thing for buyers because that was a struggle for a little while as people just weren't able to find homes, and now we're actually having that inventory. Are you seeing the market slow down at all? No. No? I don't still think so. still kicking, huh? No, I think it's still moving, yeah. Uh, we're are, just getting a little more inventory. Do you see buyers in any better of a position now than they have been over the last couple of years? Yeah. No, okay. I, I do because I feel like now that there is more inventory, I feel like these sellers are a little more open to working with the buyers now. Now, you were kind enough to bring a couple properties, I think, that are for sale over there with you, did you not? I did. What, we have a Waterview condo at Sand Pebble Point. Where is mm -hmm. this? It's actually in Newport Ritchie, okay. so it's right on the water. It's got a water view. It's on fourth floor and it's been completely renovated. It's beautiful. In Newport Ritchie, like where is that in relation to the city of Tampa? It's about 35 minutes um, north of north, Tampa, okay. mm -hmm, and it's right on the Gulf. What is it known for? Newport Ritchie known for anything? It's like a nice beach community or fishing? What? What is? Uh, Probably fishing. Fishing. I mean, it's beautiful out there. So, yeah. and where this is located, the view of it's amazing. You can see everything across the the water and stuff. I love fishing when when someone does like the baiting of the hook for me and, yeah. and takes the fish off. I, well, that's, that's a my, lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite kind of fish. If you like to see this property look a lot of us in central florida we have to make the decision do we want to have a second home over in new smyrna daytona beach or do we want to have a, a second home over on the west coast in the, the tampa new newport ritchie type area if you want to see this 407-205-0400 and staying in newport ritchie we've got another um is this a condo apartment what is this it's actually i can't really say too much okay, but it's right. called aqua reserve okay. so it's a luxury community that's oh. going up it's um 32 townhomes and they're beautiful. They're gonna go from 1.2 to 1.3, but they're right on the water wow. with boat slips. So in, in Newport Ritchie. In Newport Ritchie, yep. And it's a 12 minute ride to the Gulf, so. Do you see a lot of people on the West Coast who maybe have their main home in Orlando and a second home over there? Yep, quite often. A lot of that, mm -hmm. good deal. I'm gonna be back to you in one second here. Okay. Was that? Ooh, I'll, I'll probably be buying one of those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which We're one, working the 1.3 on or the 1.2? <laughs> <No, laughs> we'll just pay cash. We'll go in Habsies if there you want. There you go, let's that. go. <laughs> Um, you, now you focus more on Central Florida. Yes. Uh, I think you, you live down sort of near the Mall Millennia area. Do you have any one particular area and do you think as a, a realtor you need to focus on, on one small area or can you expand that a little bit? That's a very good question. You know, I uh, have been blessed where I've been uh, not just mainly focusing in Central Florida. Yeah. I also have been selling in Miami oh, wow. and also in the Ocala area. Really? Yes. Miami and Ocala, very similar very places. Very opposite directions. <laughs> right. That's like different states, I think, isn't it? They're totally different. What's that? What's up in the Miami market right now? I haven't really checked in there in a while. Um, it's still pretty active. Yeah. Um, uh, it's still a seller's market. You're still getting a lot of uh, biddings that are over asking price, right. and yeah, so it's still, it's still a little rough, but it's it's very. Um, it's a very popular area sure. to live in. Actually, I think uh, South Florida is one of the strongest or number one location to move to right. in Florida. Yeah, I agree. You wanted to tell me, or before the show, you were talking about this uh, new development called Marion Oaks. Is that up in Marion County, I presume? It is. It's by. It's in Ocala, and um, it's a great area. It's kind of like one of those little hidden gems that sure. a lot of people don't know about. Um, it has so many different, I, I have one right now, mm. but I have an investor that's purchasing the rest of the lots. There's 119 lots left. Wow. And um, we are going to be building homes, uh, you know, that basically custom. So if you are looking to purchase a home that's not so expensive yet, like over here in the Orlando area, right. then that's a great uh, place to purchase. I mean, you have a really good view of uh, the big picture of Florida real estate, if you think about it. How do the price points differ when you look at the exact same house in Ocala versus Orlando versus Miami? How, how are the prices Huge different? Huge difference. Um, in Ocala, currently, like if you wanted to build on this one uh, lot that I have right there and on the rest of the remaining 118, 119 lots, um, you can purchase between $150 a square foot yeah. up to about 220 
dollars a square foot whereas here in central florida you're looking more about 280 290 dollars a square foot sure. and then in miami it's, it's probably about 300s around there for for both of you and if you want to see this or any community in, in ocala i'll hook you up with lizette right now 407-205-0400 Zero, zero. I want to talk to you about your, um, this is for both of you, your journey yeah. to real estate. How did you get into real estate? I actually used to do property management oh, really? from Texas. And, oh, wow. You know, I did that for you know, seven years and I always knew I was going to get, get into real estate yeah. one day. Property management, a tough business. I mean, you, it, it can be a little bit, it it, is. there's a lot of moving parts in property management. Yeah, and it's been doing, I mean, to be honest with you, you know the market and everything, mm -hmm. property management's been doing really good. Yeah, yeah. So, And this is something that's new for everybody to see sure. homes this, you know, at this rate compared to apartments and stuff too with their rent. Nice. LPT, how are they treating you? Amazing. Ooh, awesome, I, right? Best decision I <laughs> yeah, think we ever made. I love, yeah. love to hear that. Jenny, it was great to meet you. Thank you so much for being over here. Well, Thanks thank for you. driving over and filling us in on what's going on in Tampa. Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Journey to being a real estate agent? <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Oh my gosh, it's been phenomenal. But I started in new home sales. So um, I did that for about eight years. And then I wanted to set my own schedule and thought that I could be my own boss, which I am, um, but thought that I would work less. No, I'm not, I'm working a whole lot more, no. but I enjoy what I'm doing. So it's been a great journey, especially with LPT. Beautiful, I wish you best, uh, the best of luck, both of you. I know you're Thank gonna you. be uh, absolute successes in, the, in this world, this crazy real estate world that we live <laughs> in. Uh, here's what to do, a quick break when we return. Some more properties, a couple that are a little bit maybe off the beaten path somewhat. Can't wait, we'll be right back with more You Have Real Estate. Having debt can leave you feeling helpless. I'm attorney Justin Clark. Filing for bankruptcy may give you the power to lower or even eliminate the payments that have you living paycheck to paycheck. Call me now for a free consultation or visit youhavepower.com and take back control of your life. A final segment today, uh, but a great segment just ahead. Two awesome agents are here. I have Minzny Orest. Hi, Minzny, how are you? I'm doing well, how Good. are you? I'm great. Gina Bafumo is here, Gina, from Tampa. Yes. Good to have you here. Thanks for driving Thank over. Thank Let you. me start with you. So yes. you, you live in Tampa, but yes. you brought me some listings here in Ocala. How do you know both so well? Okay, so I used to live in the villages. Okay, got it. So I'm very familiar with both areas. How was that living in the villages? It was fun. Yeah? I actually had a really good time uh, there. A lot yes. of people say that. Did you have a golf cart? We did. <laughs> uh, of course you did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the villages is a party. I would like to see what's going on. I, I, Marion County is so beautiful. My daughter rides horses, so we find ourselves up there sometimes as well. You have a couple listings up there that I want to check out. One's in Summerfield, uh, one in Bellevue. Show me this one in Summerfield first. I'd like to take a look at that. Okay, so Summerfield, this is a beautiful um, condo right on Lake Weir. Oh. And Lake Weir is a freshwater uh, lake and it's a, a recreational hub in Marion County. So there's boating, there's fishing, there's uh, water skiing, uh, jet skis, and of course swimming. So this condo has its own beach which is awesome. Yeah. It has volleyball, it has um, a pool overlooking oh, wow. the lake. It's beautiful. It really, really is. How do you see prices in Marion County these days? Um, well, they're still relatively low as compared to other areas. Um, but, you know, they have climbed, right. like everywhere else in Florida. If you were to compare the Tampa area with Central Florida, how do they compare? Well, uh, Marion County uh, in particular is definitely uh, less expensive than Tampa. Yeah. Tampa is probably still number one area that people want to move to. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But Everyone I loves tell Tampa you, today. Well, it's Tampa I, Day on the program. Yes, I think so. But Ocala is a great alternative. It it's, really is. Yeah. So it's nice. race horse country. Kind of old Lots Florida. It's, uh, yes. you, know, you still feel like you're in the South for sure. Definitely. And you have another property, this one up in Bellevue. Tell me about this one. Yes. So this one is a great family home. It's a four bedroom, two bath, um, and it has a great large um, backyard, perfect for parties, barbecues, even if you wanted to put in a pool, it's great. So, um, and it's a split bedroom, open floor plan, perfect for the growing family. Beautiful. You'd yes. like to see these properties. I will connect you with Gina right now. Phone number's on the screen, 407-205-0400. I literally mean it. If you call that number right now, 
I will directly connect you to her and we can go look at these beautiful properties in a beautiful part of Florida. I don't think we talk about Ocala enough here. I think we need to do that more. It's so beautiful up there. I agree. Back to you in just a moment, uh, Gina. Now, Mindy, you are an amazing agent, but you just recently signed up with LPT. Yes. Tell me about LPT a little bit. LPT um, has a lot of um, marketing that they offer. Um, they'll let you bring your your name as an agent, mm -hmm. they bring you out there. So that's one thing I like about um, LPT. How did you de decide to be a real estate agent? Well, I started in the mortgage industry. Oh, really? Yes, um, that was back in 2004. Um, so there was a couple good years there for sure. Yes. <laughs> You're giving away money back in 2006. <laughs> yeah. Then, um, you know, after the market crash, I venture out to do other things. Now, you know, I'm ba I've been back since 2017. Got it. How yes. do you feel being back in the, in the real estate world this side from the agent perspective? Well, um, came back, came back strong with a lot of buyers, um, you know, educate them on the market. Yeah. Yes. It's beautiful. Now, do you, uh, do you have a preference working with buyers and sellers? And how is that different, whether you're working with a seller versus working with a buyer? Well, both of them is um, almost the same. Um, the only difference is the seller, you have to tell them how much money you're going to make out of the deal. <laughs> yeah. Buyer, you have to educate them how to get pre-approved, the um, steps to get, into, to get a mortgage. You know, I think real estate agents sometimes get a feel for what's going on in the market because you're down in the trenches. You're talking to people every day. What is your feeling about this real estate market right now? Um, it's still strong. It's still a seller's market. Um, now we have a lot more inventory than before. Mm. Before, if you send a offer, you have 58 people that's bidding on it. Now yeah. we have more inventory. So you do feel it may be getting a little bit better for the buyers, would you say? I felt like it. Mm. Although the interest rate um, went up a little bit, but you know, it's still durable. Mm. Got it. It's better than renting right G now. Yeah, Gina, what do you think? What is your feel for this market? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we see more inventory coming up. Um, but it is still a seller's market. It, yeah. it really is, um, you know, interest rates have prepped up, but um, it's still a great time to buy. Do you see the uh, prices going down anytime soon? Or? Um, I don't know if they're actually, uh, I think they're leveling off is good. what it is. Which that might be a good thing in this market. Everything yeah. was so crazy. Buyers were, were literally getting priced out of the market and there were 30, 40 offers on every home. It was a struggle for buyers. Maybe this is actually yes. a good thing. I think this can be a blessing to even things out, to balance things out a little bit. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. What a pleasure it was to meet you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming over. Thank you for driving in. Pleasure to meet you as well. Did we did we plan the blue or no? Oh, no. no. <laughs> I, I guess we got you the just, memo. Maybe yes. you did. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. I'm very angry that I don't send me the, Thank you guys so much for being thank here. You Such for a having pleasure. Me. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, thank you for joining me today and every single Saturday. If you're looking to sell your home, we will show it off right here on the show for you. All you have to do is call the phone number on the screen. You want to get pre-approved, Dallas Lehman is still standing by right now. 407-205-0400. I'm attorney Justin Clark, and I'll see you next week for more You Have Real Estate. Do you want to feature your home for free on our show? My name is Vivian Lehman with You Have Realty, and we've come up with a comprehensive marketing strategy to get your home sold quickly. Whether buying or selling, we have all the resources for your real estate transaction, builder, insurance, title, mortgage, and we might even know Justin Clark. All under one roof. Call us at 407-205-0400. The proceeding was a paid advertisement. The views expressed were the sole responsibility of the advertiser.